some Madden 15 gamers. Welcome back for another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, this pressure play from the Nickel 3 through 5. I've been rocking the Nickel 3 through 5 since uh, the beginning of the game, but I haven't shared as much. I don't have as much time to share, but uh, we're going to look at this 3 overload press. This is my uh, base play. I like to come out of this almost every time. The setup for it is pretty easy. Um, there's only a real one thing you have to do manually, but I like to use your control of the middle linebacker, uh, which makes it. Um, even easier. So, which one of you want to come out? Uh, you're going to base a line. You're going to shift your D line to the right. Crash your defensive line down. And then you're going to put this uh, blitzing middle linebacker in a hook zone. And then you're free to use your hand. And also, I like to spread the linebackers. You don't have to do that. But I think it works, makes the pressure work a little better. And you're going to see we're going to get that pressure kind of fiddling off the left edge there. As we try to get some pressure here. Let's look at this one more time. Uh, blitz is not 100%, it's not going to work every time. Uh, but for me, it's pretty consistent, especially in game. Um, sometimes practice is a little finicky, but uh, here we should see the pressure come in off that left edge. Just loops in, get a sack, fumble. Um, and the other thing you can do with this play is you can send it off the right and left side. So if you base the line, uh, shift your <coughs> excuse me, shift your line to the right, crash your line down, and then you're just gonna reblitz your right of screen at the linebacker here. And then you're going to throw this guy into a zone. Uh, and then what I like to do typically is I'll put the linebacker in the deep zone, put the safety in the hook zone, and then do a little um, rebase aligning to make the zones a little better. And you'll see we'll be able to get that double edge pressure at the quarterback. Uh, typically, though, not always it will come in. Um, sometimes it gets caught up on the edge there. But normally it should be pretty fluid, um, especially if you spread the linebackers. If you spread the linebackers, it makes everything work a little better in my opinion. Uh, so let's look at the left edge one more time. Base line, shift your D-line to the right, crash your D-line down, spread your linebackers, globally where you blitz the linebacker on the left side, and then zone um, this linebacker that's blitzing over the middle. And you see we should be able to get that pressure in off that left edge. So that's a three overload press, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Uh, be on the lookout for some more Madden 15 videos.